Samuel Levi Jones, and so I see that I'm an abstract artist and I'm working with encyclopedia materials. <clears throat> and in the program, I started the program, um, gosh, when did, I, when did I start? It was like, what was the first part of May? It's time, time flies. It's four months long and it ends in September, at the end of September, so I can give you that much. And I've been working with encyclopedia materials. And I've started with um, working with some nude materials since I've been here, working with athletic footballs, skins from footballs, basketballs, soccer balls, and kind of experimenting and um, kind of keeping the work within the same dialogue that I've worked with before coming into the program. I think I like the the physicality of the material. I don't know, it seems all pretty standard, but when I work from you know one book to another, there's something going on differently from one to another. I think I also enjoy the, the universal, um, I guess, under, maybe not understanding, but the universal uh, recognition to the material. So not am I working with this thing that pertains to a particular idea of thought process that I'm working with, but it's, it's widely recognizable. Um, I was, you know, I heard a lot through other artists and friends, and coming over and visiting, I liked the idea of like using this, this material that was discarded and, and being able to have access to that. And there's so much material that comes through. And it's kind of nice being in a location where the material just comes to rather than having to go out and search for it all the time. No, not at all. Early on in my career, I worked with primarily with photography. So it's changed quite a bit, and I would have never imagined being in this context and using the material and stepping away, kind of stepping away from photography. I may come back to it at some point or somehow utilize it, but I, I never would have imagined it. I think one of the funny things that I think about is this, you know, what this television show called Sanford and Son, and, uh, and this idea of like, you know, being this junk man, you know, like walking through the garbage and you know, reusing just discarded materials that other people throw away. First thing I like to leave something, you know, visually that they remember, and then with that visual memory, also a story of what's going on within the work. Because um, I think if I, if, you know, if I pulled it, you know, I'm a very, I'm very much a visual person, and I like to be, for me personally, I like to be pulled in visually, and then I'm interested in the story. So you know, there's a you know, a good story and something that's going on well visually and there's a connection. You know, I think it's a, for me that's a positive thing and I try to, to bring that out in my work. My name is Jeremy Rourke. I'm an animator and a musician, and I joined the Artist in Residence program here at the beginning of June. Um, I feel like animation is called animation, but it's a lot of um, things together. Like it's kind of it's kind of working with paint and time and uh, photographs and. I just love all the elements that can be thrown into animation. Animating them in different ways. Right now I'm uh, kind of crumpling up a piece of paper that's a photocopy of a desert scene that I found. And yeah, I'm just trying to make them speak a little bit through animation. You know, when I was in high school, I used to make these little flip books. And I think about that because I made them in high school and then I just kind of never made another one. And then I saw an animated movie about four years ago 
and it like uh, kind of re-inspired this um, interest in animation, and especially in the one frame at a time, and then putting frames next to each other that make sense. And oh, what a long answer, but I just like I just like it. I have a good friend who did it maybe seven years ago, and since then I've kind of been following different artists who have come here and coming to the ex exhibitions, and uh, I just love it. I mean, when I'm driving around San Francisco and I see stuff on the street, I've, I've animated stuff that people have thrown away for the whole time I've been animating, so it seemed like a good fit. I bet it would be hard to find someone who didn't want to be involved in the artist in residence program here. Um, every single person I've been telling is like, oh, that sounds great. And it is great. So, simple. Simple. Oh, great. Um, I felt, uh, yeah, I felt great. I continue feeling great while being here. I'm psyched. Ooh, gosh, should I get it and show it? Cool. It's this picture over here. Oh, where is it? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, no, where is it? I've, I've lost my favorite thing I found in it, so I don't know. I don't know where it is. It's a little... Maybe that's because she doesn't want to be filmed. Ask me again and I'll... Early when I started here, I mentioned uh, a totem pole. I just kind of mentioned it in the space, and then the next day I found a totem pole. So I think that that was my favorite thing I found because it just seemed to be manifested. Definitely, I mean the whole time I've been uh, making anything it's kind of been of used materials. Um, I used to make these stencils that I would just kind of uh, spray paint onto boards that I found around and uh, a lot of the materials I've used in my animations have been found in ser different serendipitous ways. Mmm, wow. Um, huh, I don't really, I'm not really going at it from that angle, but what I guess I hope is, I hope that, you know, I almost want to take two on this one. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to leave in their head because I'm still kind of working on what's going to happen. Um, but I, I hope more for, as opposed to an image in their head, just a, a general feeling of, uh, um, maybe some new directions in animation, maybe some, maybe just feeling, feeling good.